Hello again guys, welcome back to Let's Play Disco Elysium Okay, it's time to investigate the curse The curse of the rundown commercial area or whatever Okay, pull up on the curtains, come on, let's do this Man, these are loud curtains <laughs> You see a dimly lit room full of dusty furniture and trash a doorway stands in the back, covered in dozens of scary little cage-like trinkets, your shadow looming over it like an omen. <laughs> oh! Okay. Ooh. Ooh, what's going on here? Ah. ah! It's just an avant-garde painting. Doesn't even look that scary. A vaguely androgynous portrait of a man. What? That's a man? You're kidding me, right? I'm yeah, merely looking at that unmanly haircut threatens your masculinity. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Doesn't look like a man at all to me, but whatever. Ghostly silhouettes of hair dryers. No insane person would ever put their head in into such machine. Oh yeah. Yeah, that kinda looks like an old hair dryer. Alright. Ooh. I think these are called the Hamafuda or something similar. These are Japanese charms, Shinto charms. Okay, a heavy door with a missing handle stands before you, covered in dozens, if not hundreds, of little oddly shaped trinkets and charms. It appears to be locked. Okay, we could try breaking it down. I mean, what's the point of doing that when we can just use the key? We get 5 experience. You feel the tiny hairs on the back of your neck rise up, as if someone standing right behind you. An uneasy knot forms in the pit of your stomach. Hmm. Okay, what is this feeling? Okay, okay, nothing interesting. A panicking woman squeezes the pendant around her neck, until it leaves a mark inside her palm. A man, a few meters away, stands frozen with a key in his hand. Okay, that's me. Somewhere inside a spider is spinning his web. <laughs> uh, I don't believe in superstitions, let's go! We are not going to, be act, to act like a sissy. Ooh, what is this? It's the cursed... Abandoned gym. Really? Let's do some punches. Sand is dripping from the punch bag. Ooh, how scary. What do you want, Kim? What is this place? <laughs> Alright. Looks like a gym to me. Yes, but no one's been here in ages. Yeah, that's that's what happens. I doubt the electricity still works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. Don't forget to take it out of the bag before you move on. Okay. An eerie feeling cries in your chest. What if there is a reason why no one's been here for ages? Yes, because <clears throat> it's closed. <laughs> no need to look for supernatural explanations when there is a banner one will do. Now let's move on, shall we? Well, that's Occam's razor for you. I guess. Alright, as he suggested, let's use the let's use the flashlight. And I don't know whether we, we need to keep the crowbar or the or the bag in case we find some bottles to collect or anything else. But okay. And yeah, I guess we are right. Oh no actually. Shot put ball, hmm. Cool. Poster says Sit Sitius Fortis. The rest is worn off. And I don't know what's the name of this thing in English. Uh, wall bars. Alright. We used to have one of those in school. And uh, a barbell. Okay. I forgot about the term for this as well. Man, I keep thinking of the Bulgarian names for them. But. Okay, okay. 60 kilograms. Oh. Nothing we cannot handle. 
Hmm, there are no cores on the barbell. This is safety hazard, huh? Why does it feel so familiar? Huh. Legendary. Well, not so legendary anymore. 72%. Although, let me tell you guys, whenever I do a check for a physical instrument, I always fail. Is this because I'm a weightlifter? No, it's not that. It's the tail smell of rubber, the squeaky sound of sneakers, your bruised knee against the mat, and a whistle. Then the feeling is gone. Just a memory. So we've done that in the past. Okay, look Kim, it's a trap. There are no cores on the barbell. You're right, the weights may fall off. Better not touch it then. What kind of bastard would just remove the colors? It should be a felony. It would be a violation of EP safety regula regulations if the gym was still operating. But it isn't. No one's supposed to come here anymore. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're going to leave the, the, the barbell, but first we need to dress for the occasion. Um, oh, right. Let's get back our detective coat. And there we go. Let's have plus one physical instrument. Okay, nothing else. Man, if we fail again, this is going to be hilarious. Alright, let's do this. 80%. Wasn't it the same as before? No scores, okay. Yeah, just give it a shot, whatever. Yay! Finally! Okay, show him how it's done. <laughs> nice. Conjuring up inhuman amount of strength you raise the barbell in the air. Your biceps tremble, but you're a savage. This is a children game. Fuck yeah. Huh? Oh, nice. Healed morale. We had some morale to heal, right? Oh yeah, we did. Nice. A warm wave of accomplishment washes over your head as you drop the barbell to the floor. For a moment, it feels like you are strong enough to succeed at anything you ever set your mind to. Nice. Hey, but you are still in ghost house. What if someone heard this? What if they know you are here? Ah, oh, shut up, Inland Empire. Good technique. Nice. Wait, so what? We just healed one morale? It's a good thing I didn't use any of my alcohol reserves to, to leave this. Okay, what is this thing here? Huh? Just a bunch of crates. The hallway is blocked by old window panes and debris. Okay, we cannot go there then. What's inside here? Ooh. What is this? Okay, let's let's look closely. Some mannequins and a note an old deer's head, I guess. Airship rollers covered in spider webs. They remind you of blades. Alright. Oh, hmm. Man, this is creepy. Look at the shadows. What is this? Oh, there is an old desk. Let's see. So yeah, a bunch of mannequins here and there. A naked mannequin torso. Strange yellow cover. Let's check out... Alright. Oh, nice. Some money, since we are running short on those. Blue velvet soft to the touch, moth beaten. Is this Emma's Atelier? Alright, some old uh, radiators, I guess. Then another desk turned over, okay, more money, nice. Yes. Oops. Okay, not now. Oh. We can go this way, huh? More to explore. What is this? Some old skis? And some old antlers? Skis with slipstream print on the laminated top layer. Okay. An art desk. Probably more money inside. Oh no. Production schedule, filament memory, 10 bucks. What the hell? Steel roller blades bearing a slipstream logo. Okay. So, lo rollerblades and skis, huh. and how about here? 
Wild animals stare at you in the dark, stuffed and mounted. Can we? Wait, wait, wait. Can we reach this place? Okay, not from here, I guess. Ah, but you can turn around. A large demijohn full of strange liquid. What? Okay, some more animal heads, bird. The bookstore lady was right. This is creepy. Okay, this is where we came from. Alright, let's explore let's explore the other part. Ooh, what is this? A whiteboard? Project Dreadboard. An old green chalkboard covered in scribbles, sketches and schemes like some ancient cave mural. What? What is this? Is this an elf or something? With a sword in his hand? Some of the writing has faded with age, but you can still make out sections here and there. Forests and drawings have been pinned to the board. Okay, let's start. Let's inspect the drawings first. These light, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types of welkins. You make out autumnal candle welkins casting wax-based magic. Okay. Translucent Welkins, with organ shining under skin, and even Aether Welkins, hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal, sp side sidereal space. Huh. Who are all those creatures? Fantasies of a tortured, feverish mind? One of the Welkins, towering among the rest, appears to be different, however. Okay, must be this guy, then. Examine the Welkin, what is so important? It's Valhamira, a high Welkin, his face white and scarred like cracked marble. He is clearly a Welkin supremacist. The note says, oh no Welkin races will be purged. Oh boy. So this is the Welkin Hitler then. Huh. The Hilder, the Dwerg, the humans and even the headless men. Oh man. Not the headless men. All of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin. Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin to rule them all. One Welkin to rule them all. The Lieutenant can't help but comment. An inordinate amount of time he's gone into drawing these little Welkin creatures. Hmm. Why would anyone spend so much time on this? Some people really like building a world, I think, even if it's just for a game. Who are these creatures? Who drew them? Are they real? I have so many questions. It looks like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Well, one of them is a walking supremacist. Mm-hmm. Political commentary. That one has a great beard too. Oh, well, this has been educational. Let's move on from the Welkins. Just look at those details. So much effort. And for what? All gone. Okay, let's inspect the photos. The fog clutch depicts a barren, icy landscape wrapped in perpetual night. You see permafrost and glacial landforms. Dead trees growing under the snow. Huh. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of settlements on dried up riverbeds, abandoned in a storm. Animal corpses in the dark, carcasses and bones. You see primitive oil rigs built into glaciers by Boreal Dwork. Dwork. Dwerk, well, whatever. Yurts under the snow, great mammoth like beasts of burden. Albeit dark and cold, this vision also feels cozy in its own way, like eggnog or, or morphine. Much needed respite from our own world. A pinned postcard treats the, ah, the heat death scenario. A desperate fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world. As Vero becomes unethered from its sun, drifting through the universe. Okay, inspect the schedule. This looks like a Kanban board. You know, Kanban, Dajo methodology. <laughs> this is a monthly calendar from the year 50. Cryptic words like sprint, daily minimum, and GPI span the marker drawn grid. The grand scheme of production and money. Oh, sprint, exactly. It's some agile, baby. <laughs> 
so much pain, black pain, neck pain, oh, back pain, neck pain, headaches, carpal tunnel, chest pain. No gym membership can make up for working in this manner. Well, I have to agree. I mean, since I work at a desk all the time, these things it can be can get pretty painful. Keep reading. What happens? As time goes on, the numbers on the boxes grow rarer and rarer. The board becomes an empty snow field in the final days. Only failure and regret dwell in this region. Plus five experience. The lieutenant looks at the frigidized field of nothingness and concludes. Looks like they didn't make it. Simple as that. A note into the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, see the production schedule filament for details. Oh, isn't this what we found earlier? Inspect the notes. The handwriting is only partially legible, but you can still make out three slogans. Go in, tune out, Viro and Tethered, and he dead of the universe. Okay. Alright. An old woman passes what the locals call the Doom commercial area. She tries not hard not to look at the bookstore windows. It's unwise. Alright. Let's leave it at that. What is this box here? Oh, is this a projector? Mainframe. This appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and wired framework. The keyboard has a rectangular on-off button. A piece of paper still hangs from the printer. Alright. Oh, there's a keyboard, indeed. Is this the monitor or some projector? A radio computer, says the lieutenant. Just sitting here without anyone in sight. Hmm. Let's turn on the machine. Man, is this the sound of it warming up? The machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, revealing wire sent play and print keys on the keyboard. The hatch on the machine's central compartment is wide open. Okay, look inside the compartment. It's empty like a beehive without this brood. Some cables have been left dangling disconnected. The filament you have would fit perfectly inside the compartment. Right, okay. Insert the production schedule. So yeah, this is the box we found earlier. Like a smooth drawer, the filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. Alright, press play. Nice humming sound. A bar of fabric right above the keyboard starts producing a soft hum. The sound of static seeps through the machine's planar magnetic driver. Have you stirred the ghost of the Doom commercial area from its rest? Could this be its dismembered heart beginning to flutter? Oh no. It was already glowing and now it's also making a sound. It's probably some alien cell lit technology. The static gets louder, slowly filling up the abandoned hall, until a voice speaks out, crackling and out, cutting into the air. Oh, what is this? Is this like a robot? <laughs> Good afternoon, fortress accident on the route of Sengis Lane. This East Insulian Repeater, Station 1. Please repeat, is this the production schedule? What is the production schedule? The filament you have inserted into the reader. You mean that glowing thing I put inside? Yes, is that the production schedule? <laughs> I swear I have to share anything. <laughs> it's like talking to technical support. <laughs> well, yes. Good, please repeat the password. What? You should ask her for a hint. Password? I'm really bad at passwords. Can you give me a hint? No. Well, there goes that idea. Is it my birthday? Still no. This is the police. Please open the thing. I am contractually obligated to protect the privacy of the filament holder fortress accident. Without, feeling, without filing a warrant with Lintel, I cannot give you access on this filament. I'm afraid we are not doing that. Unless you want to wait for a month. Now, can you please repeat the password? Okay, I don't know the password. Received. I will register this login attempt. Oh no, please don't. 
It's not like we try to log in as root. That sounds bad. A login attempt. Something a criminal will do. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up sooner or later. Well, yeah. Only in computer games and books and movies. Where the password is always swordfish. In the real world, not so much. I mean, who would leave you his password lying around? <laughs> okay, Fortress Accident. Is there anything else I can do for you? Why did you call me Fortress Accident? Fortress Accident is the company on whose name the terminal you're currently using has been registered to. Oh, thanks for clarifying that. Do you have any other information about this company? One moment. Plus 5 experience. Forders Accident SCA produces revolutionary interactive calling radio games. That's what the catalog says. Calling radio games? Oh, so basically you call and you play a game on the phone? And what is that? This interactive calling radio game. Any other questions? Huh. Okay. I guess she didn't answer. Were you a machine or are you alive? Yes, I am alive. I am 74 years old and my name is Yvonne. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. Okay, but where are you? How do you know I, where I am? I work at a repeater at the East Insulin Repeater Station. Oh, as a repeater, okay. It's my job to know where you are, Fortress Accident. As for me, well... I am sitting in my cubicle surrounded by a wall of radios. Man, must be lonely. On an island on the River Esperance, a small woman, all skin and bones, sits in a room filled with audio equipment. Thousands of tiny lights are reflected back from her prescription lenses, like stars in the dark. Doesn't it get lonely sitting there all by yourself? Yeah, let's ask that. Lonely? Why would it get lonely? I get to talk to people all day. Huh. That's why she does this. Now please tell me if there's anything else I can do for the accident. <laughs> Stop calling me Fortress Accident. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you and goodbye. Alright, let's press print this time. See what we get. Nothing happens. Great. Okay, remove the production schedule. And leave. Okay, enough with that. So yeah, this, this is what we found. The production schedule. Okay, let's keep looking. Frequency fireplace. This old fireplace is covered in lines drawn in blue and red marker. The mesh spraying over the stone like blood vessels on alabaster skin. It looks ghostly and strangely ancient. Diagram for summoning some time forgotten being. The symbols seem very esoteric. What am I looking at? Radio frequencies it seems. UKV 133. Okay, I'm not going to repeat all of them. Some written notes too. Sparse and cryptic. Radio frequencies for what? <coughs> Unclear. Looks like a cardiovascular system split into veins and caterpillars. Very advanced. Hmm. This must be another piece of art. You think so? The web is comprised of radio stations. All lead back to one red heart titled The Game Master Frequency. A note says, This one can listen in on any station it wants. Looks like a surveillance program. Wait, who's the Game Master? Someone very important. The leader of a massive on air game built by these people. Oh, so it's an MMORPG then. If it's a game, then who's playing? Whoever decides to call into call to a calling station, it looks like. All of this gone, left unrealized. So sad. There's no way a little basement studio working here would pull off anything like this. My god! It's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. Why you say that? Ok, 
Okay, we get into another fire experience. The schedule. I know doom when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Okay, what else? Nothing, it's just lines on marble, an echo from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace in ages. Alright. Okay. What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard, and fireplace? Hmm. Well, he just failed business. The only question is, what the hell are they making? Yes, that is the question. Looks like one of those popular pen and paper role playing games. Only those people were trying to automate it, make it work on radio computers. Aha, uh -huh, so yeah, this is the first ever MMORPG. Other madness, he thinks, as a compliment. How are they planning to do that? Through calling stations. None of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game as long as they have a two-way radio. Then there's the game master frequency that listens in on the smaller calling stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate the stories. Functioning as a master of ceremonies of sorts. Alright. Has everyone ever done this before? Not to my knowledge, they make automated games in Grad, Messina, Königstein, you know, plays with industry. But I don't think anyone has attempted to create an inter game before. We just don't have the technology. And this was a role-playing game? Indeed. Those Welkins are a dead giveaway. Role-playing people love that stuff. The world looks like a modified version of the Vero board game, with he dead thrown in. What do you think happened to the company? No idea, they stopped filling in the schedule on the chalkboard. Wow. Indeed, it's ambitious, and another from reality, but... Alright. It was just a play to cheat money out of their investors' pockets. Huh. I don't think so, I think they genuinely believed. Okay, let's keep moving. Alright. Scribble the Cross of Notebook, developers of the most advanced RPG in the universe. Cool. Okay, so we found a door. Let's see where it leads. Alright. Is this some sort of basement? Yes, it is, I guess. Here are the stairs going up. Okay, some more money and some magnesium. Nice. Let's see, what else? Ooh, what is this, a bear? Yikes, a, la a large poor bear. Ice bear fridge, huh? Oh, so it's a fridge built into the bear. You see a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment in his belly. The door is covered in frost and the bear's eyes are glowing red. This ice bear is hyper carnivore. Be careful. What is that thing? It looks like a giant ice bear. Okay, the lieutenant doesn't answer. His eyes are glued to the animal. A sharp slice of light shines out from a mysterious belly door. Crack open the door. Oh, nice. It opens. A gust of freezing cold air rushes to greet you. You hear a low grumble as the bear regulates itself. This is the inside of a refrigerator. Let's get some food. <laughs> his hand has found the holster of his gun. Relax, Kim, it's a fridge. Of course, just a giant ice bear shaped fridge. <laughs> let's, like look, let's take a look inside. Alright, let's see. The shelves are all empty. All you see are crumpled ice cream wrappers with the brand name Revashow Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The fridge is huge. Okay, take the note from the door. Item gained, handwritten note from the fridge. You pocket the note and in the little fridge magnets. And the little fridge magnets keeping it on the door. Cool. 
All right, examine one of the ice cream wrappers in there. A friendly cartoon bear smiles back at you from the glossy cellophane wrapper. Looks something like the fridge. What is a giant bear shaped fridge doing in an abandoned cellar in the first place? Good question, it looks like an ice cream fridge. Okay, someone in the past, it's summer. Five year old Fee Fat lets go of her mother's hand, change jingling in her pockets as she hops towards the ice cream stand right across the plaza. So, they tried to sell ice cream from this hyper carnivore. I know. What an unfortunate marketing choice. <laughs> What's even worse, the bear is still costing them money to this day. The lieutenant points at the red shaky cable running from the fridge. The fridge bu buzzes with energy. The electricity bill on this thing must be catastrophic. Okay, close the door. Alright, as far as I recall, we picked up a note. Okay, not the ball. Yeah, this one. Henry the note from the fridge. A Henry the note you found from the giant ice bear fridge. It still bears some marks from the fruit shaped kitchen magnets that were used to secure it to the refrigerator door. Did we really get the magnets as well? I don't see them anywhere. Okay, let's interact. The note is written with blue pencil on the piece of lined office paper. The kitchen magnets have left spots on its surface. Does it say anything interesting? This is tangen tangential at best, but the lieutenant's detective instinct is still acute. Active. Okay, read the note. Someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the off-site copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, so I had to hide it somewhere safe. You find the filament memory with the offside copy in the frozen ice cream ma uh, maker. Please take it home ASAP, it's important. I'll do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Take care, Sulislav. Huh. So, Kuno has been stealing stuff from here, but he couldn't steal the offside copy of whatever it is. So, it's buried in the ice cream maker. Okay, wonder who wrote the note? Looks like someone from the radio game company upstairs. I'm real surprised they just left their property lying around. Ugh. Maybe just they could just maybe they had to live in a hurry. That's plausible hypothesis. Remind me again, what's the filament memory? It belongs inside a radio computer storing its memory. It's like a tape. You listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disc tapes, only for a computer, okay? So it's one of the earliest memory discs. It's like the production schedule you found only this one is an offsite copy. Who's the leader of Ginger Kids? Really? You don't have a single clue? <laughs> you mean Kuno? And to get plus 5 experience for that. Oh, I'm sure that child would love to get his hands on a film of memory. Even if he doesn't know what to do with it, he'd probably try to point for speed based on our encounter. Do you have any idea where the frozen ice cream maker could be? I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear, uh, ice bear fridge. Alright, put the note away. Enough with the notes. Okay, we'll examine this part later. Let's go here first. Oh, an ice cream maker defrosted and unplugged. So. Is this the one we are looking for? Probably not. What's in here? The flashlight ca casts a strange shadow. There is a hidden doorway here. Oh. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay. Cool, cool. Two rusty rifles are hidden above the piping. They look inoperable. What? Where? Oh, here? Oh, there's another rainbow uh, reindeer head here. Oh, there are the rifles. Right. Let's check out this place. A hole in the wall. A few bricks have fallen off, revealing a compartment behind the wall. It's too dark to see in. Hmm. Where are we? Seems like an old bunker from the revolutionary period. Look at all those rifles. Must be an old weapons cache. Look, there's a hole in the wall. There is, yes. 
and there is also a, and there also appears to be something inside the hole. Interesting. Do you want to take a look? Okay, I do. Your hand reaches deep into a darkness and spider webs running, rummaging around. You find rusty rifles hidden away. Spike the rifles. Most of them are rusty and inoperable like the rest, but one catches your eye. A bolt action model with a fine wood stock. In better cosmetic order than the others. Take it, you're a police officer. Police officers carry guns. Okay, this one looks nice. And we gain a new item, antique Belmar Grave Rifle. An old Belmar Grave from the revolution. Seems to no longer be functional, but still, a beautiful thing in its own way. So, if we... <laughs> fortunately, we cannot replace our lost gun with it, since it doesn't work. What does this all mean? A rifle here? And some more experience. It means there are firearms, albeit inoperable, still lying around in Martine. It's an interesting coincidence, I would say. Might come in useful in the future. He likes this find. Me too. Okay, let's check it out. So we found this rifle. Man, this thing really is old. How about here? Someone has stuck some busted guns beneath the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, we already collected the rifle. Okay, what about here? What can we find? What is this? A frozen ice cream maker that is still running. Oh, so this is where they store the offside copy then. This orange machine is, burking, uh, is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand cracking ice cream churner on top and an electric freezer that appears to be frozen shut. Okay, turn the ice cream crank. Turning the crank feels oddly satisfying, like stirring your childhood dreams. In the distance you hear water dripping. It's all gone now, you never became a poet or an anthroponaut. What is that such a word? What better to assuage the creeping sense of error than some frozen fat and sugar? <laughs> Okay, let's try to open it. You slip your fingers around the frozen lid, but the ice is too cold for you to get a good grip. A pry bar would come in handy here. Oh, we have a pry bar. If you want to try again, then you need to have the pry bar in your hand, detective. Yes, okay, I get it. Where is it? Okay. Physical instrument, heroic 15, crack open the lid. Oh, what? What the hell? Minus 20, pry bar not strong enough. Huh. Better grip with gloves. Hmm. Okay, leave it at that then. What is here? Some more money and some nozzle fat. What about here? Breaker box. Two cables are plugged into the breaker box. The red, and the red one leads to the ice bear fridge and the black one to the ice cream maker nearby. Ah, okay. Unplug the black cable. Something close to you dies with soft electric purr. Why do you do that? <laughs> it's black, it's not like it's the red one. <laughs> Obviously. Alright, let's leave it like that. Let's try opening it now. Oh, okay, machine unplugged. Well, this minus 20 doesn't get any better though. This means only if we roll a 12 we're going to succeed. Well, no need to try now. On our desk drawer. Ooh. Insane mesh tank top plus one drama. Nice. We need some drama in our lives. Okay. Looks like we got some intercom wires running into the breaker box. And okay, I think we just gained the last point to, you know. Uh, to, to gain a level. 
All right. Let's try to go upstairs. Let's see where it leads. Huh. We're outside. Huh. Cool. Can we go back in? Yes, we can. So I guess this is a shortcut huh? from the bookstore. We can go from the front door all the way into the bookstore. Interesting. All right. There is one last place that we haven't explored yet. And we are still no closer to finding out what the curse of the bookstore is. I'll just give it a try. The wall collapsed. It's inaccessible now, unfortunately. But we're going to do this next time, guys. I think this is a good place to stop. So, I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.